Good morning, the time is 6.51. It's very quiet at the moment, nobody's around. Everyone's still asleep. I'm heading to the Chengdu Pandas today. That's why I'm up so early. Even though I went to bed at nearly one o'clock last night, so I've only had about five hours sleep. I wanna get there early when no one's there, when the pandas are awake at this time of the morning. I'm now inside the panda research base. This time of morning is the best time to see the pandas. The bamboo leaves are to keep the sun out and to keep the pandas in the shade, to block out the sunlight and keep the area cool. If the temperature goes above 20 degrees, then the pandas will go inside. That's amazing. I'm the only one here as well. I think I made the right decision. done here. Uh, when I came earlier it was much better. Now the uh, personal experience with the panda is kind of taken away as you can see behind me. I'm leaving as everybody else is arriving. If you come to Chengdu to the panda research base you have to come early. People just flowing in. Never ending way for people. I just went back to my hostel to freshen up a bit. Now I'm going for lunch with a girl who I met on the internet on a website called uh, italki. After that, I might see a bit more of Chengdu before I take an overnight train tonight to my next city, which is Xi'an. Okay, so after my dinner, I went to Wenshu Monastery. <laughs> So now I'm heading back to my hostel where I'm going to get some food. I've just bought some water for my overnight train uh, tonight to Xi'an, which is at quarter past nine and will arrive at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. So that's it for today in Chengdu. I'm just going to go back to my hostel and get some dinner and then bring my luggage to the railway station. Here he goes. Hello. Now at Chengdu railway station, just waiting for my train. Sweating would be an understatement. Chengdu's been amazing, better than I expected. Saw lots of really cool stuff, did lots of really cool stuff. 
I would love to come back in the future if I ever come back to China. I highly recommend you go to Chengdu. Don't just visit Shanghai and Beijing. There's a lot to see and a lot to do in Sichuan province, Chengdu and Chongqing. So the next city on my list is Xi'an, which is north of Chengdu. Xi'an is an ancient city, so a bit different from the spicy food and hot weather of Western China.